Out of the darkness they came with a hateful will to destroy humanity. We fought long and hard, but now we are lost, for they have taken their evil war into our past. Traveling through time, they have sown corruption, unraveling the fabric of our history. Our last chance is to strike back, seize the time crystals, and turn their twisted weapon against them. The fight for survival has begun. Alpha Base, do you copy? Over! Roger, you are clear to go. Proceed as planned, and good luck! Docking base clear. Go! You've got a patrol on level two. Incoming! On your right! Yeah! Good work! Moving the crystals! Cover me! I'm going in! Good! Watch out! You go after them! Right. I'll hold them off here! Hey! Yeah? Good luck! Thanks! 1990 Siberia, Obelisk Adam, a secret research facility under a Siberian dam has unearthed preserved organic specimens which are over 10,000 years old. Following a number of mysterious accidents, the original scientific team has left the site and a Russian military garrison has been assigned to the excavation project. Intelligence has revealed that the military's attempts to develop biological weaponry from the finds have had dreadful results. They must not be allowed to continue this research. Although biohazard cleanup forces are on their way, there is an opportunity to investigate the base and destroy the samples and research records before they arrive. The base is currently under the lockdown. The perimeter guards are jumpy and the automated security systems have been engaged. Avoid the cameras if necessary. They can be switched off or destroyed. Cutting off communications on Blink should buy you some time to explore the base more fully. Hey guys, alright, besides all the bullshit exposition dump, it's uh, the one and only XP Taco Man's here. I've been wanting to do this series for a while. I mean, Time Splitters 2 I grew up playing as a kid, but I'll tell you more after this intro. We shouldn't be in the research center without security clearance. I'm telling you, I heard gunshots. They'll kill us if they find out. Come on, coward. Nikolai, the light! Stupid torch. Does nothing in this army work. <gasps> down to me now.
Yep, well, breathe in that uh, nice, cold, luscious, cold air, because this is probably one of the best environments in all of this game, personally. I mean, each mission in Time Splitters 2 probably has, like, an amazing atmosphere and for the level, but I honestly say this is probably my favorite one. Like, probably a really good introduction to Time Splitters 2, especially for the year it was made in, which was made back in 02. Surprisingly, I mean, this game, in my opinion, still holds up to this to this, you know, to this day. Um, I am going to be taking you guys through a walkthrough here on hard. I mean, some of these missions are challenging. Like, I want to say the Wild West is probably a pain in the ass for me and Atom Smasher. But besides that, I mean, this level is pretty easy, especially with mouse and keyboard. I want to say on controller, this was a pain in the ass. But on mouse and keyboard, it's like, wow, it's so smooth and fluid. It's like, I feel like this is how the game was meant to be played. I mean, the thing I like about hard though is that you're getting the full experience with each and every one of these levels. It's like, mainly, you have to do a set of objectives, and unfortunately you can't leave until all the objectives are finished, so it's like, hey, at least get everything done and then we'll let you out. I mean, personally, it's like, I don't know, this game is, I've played this so many, so many years now. I want to say when I was like a kid, when I was a kid when this came out, I played this religiously. So it's like I know every nook and cranny and every little hiding spot and where this game tries to do cheap shots on you in hard mode. But for me, it's a breeze, as you can see so far. Especially if you struggle, they give you the temporal link. I mean, it's able to pick up where enemies are on the map and where the camera placements are. But this game, I mean, once you play it a handful of times, you just memorize the spots, and it's not that hard. I mean, I was just checking to make sure that I got the file cabinets because, like, you don't want to have to come back and be chased by time splitters. I don't think they come out in this level in particular, but I know in later missions later on, they do come back. Let's just say, uh, you don't want to have to be running through the entire map trying to figure out what objective you left out while they're shooting lightning that tracks. I mean, personally, I think it's bullshit, but at least you're able to somewhat dodge it and avoid it. It's not like splash damage unless you get near it, but I mean in that case you shouldn't even be trying to get near the lightning in general. And then on top of that, it's like mouse and keyboard makes this game a lot easier, like it's just simple. You point, click, and that's it. And then especially because the AI, if you kill somebody, they'll usually come to check out, you know, why their buddy's dead. Like this guy right here. Unfortunately, he didn't get a chance to react, he just got popped immediately. But I do like about this level though is it references the thing. I mean, come on, the fact that there's, you know, they found, you know, organisms that are frozen in the ice. I mean, a, a giant nod to the thing, which is probably one of my favorite horror movies because the fact that, I mean, it's just like the universe they've made it in is like amazing. But I will say though, I kind of wish we could get a good uh, a sequel to the thing. I have heard that John Carpenter is in the works of making another movie, but hopefully he uses practical effects and not CGI. I can't stress this enough, the CGI in the prequel to the thing was fucking awful. It was horrendous. And then right here I'm taking out the turret that they has a minigun. Yeah, no, you don't want to get hit by that, otherwise you'll lose almost half your health and be dead immediately. Not fun at all. And then in this level, the AI are kind of lenient. I mean, they kind of like give you a, f a few seconds to react if they do spot you, so it's nothing too crazy. And then right here, I mean, if you just catch them when they're not back turned against you, then it's just like, you're going to be able to breeze through this mission easily. Like, come on, I've been using the pistol and sniper, and I wouldn't, shouldn't even have to switch to the AK, at least not yet. And then you just got to aim up here with the sniper and take out this guy hiding in the window. And I feel like that's only going to be the difficult part about this mission. And then we catch this person lacking. I mean, come on, man. Gotta have better vision than that. Him, him lacking, too. And like I said, I mean, this game isn't that hard. It's just later missions are kind of bullshit. I think the Wild West one, I would say, is kind of BS. Also, I do tend to take my time with this part, because the fact that if you try to rush, I mean, you'll just fuck up entirely. It's just better to take it slow and just assess the situation, like right here. 
Like, I did kind of rush in and decided to not even think about the camera above me. But even then, it's like, you can breeze through this level just easily. Pop in, get these two guys, and not shoot the melons, thank god. And then, on top of that, we come through to find our last three cabinets. We have the torch and burn. The left is a shower. Only if you get lit on fire in this map. You can just go up in there and dry off or get, get cooled off from the fire. Like I said, this game is probably the easiest it's ever been with mouse and keyboard. And it sucks too because of like, not using the AK, I kinda wish they'd give you more ammo for the AK at least, because it's like, by the end of this mission I think I like, a total out with like 160 shots, not even needing to use the AK, and then right here I'll spend my last three bullets on this guy up here, and the two camera placements that are mini guns. Uh, kinda bullshit that I just, I can't stand those honestly. But like I said, you shoot the little tiny square on the bottom left, you'll be able to breeze through it. And then we have this asshole over here. Yeah. Lights out for him. Pop him in the head and then just find his little buddy that's hanging out down there. Yeah, the AI they just kind of burst fire their assault rifles and try to shoot a grenade too. It's like, you didn't even aim that high, you just kind of plop that shit on the floor. I don't know, man. AI was built different back then in the early 2000s. Pick up that fire extinguisher. Get some more armor and whoa. I wonder if this is going to come back to play later on in the mission. Just a bunch of bodies that are not despawned in a flamethrower. Hmm, I wonder. Until then, let's just go up in here, ice this asshole with his own turret, and then just open up the door and keep moving. Now, I do have a lot of this memorized because I played this a lot, so from right here, I thought I could be big brain and throw two little uh, time grenades, but yeah, I forgot they don't go too far. I mean, look at that shit. Uh, that's probably my fault, honestly. So I thought I'd just bank, you know, the 17 grenades I have in my AK-47. Take out that asshole, and then there's one more hiding behind the glass. Eh. I guess A for effort on that one, honestly, but... Like I said, how suspicious all these dead bodies laying around. And a disc. And from what once was a infiltration mission turns into a horror mission out of fucking nowhere with zombies. Let me see, we'll hit the reset on that and then we'll shoot this window open and we'll keep moving and then this is where all hell breaks loose because now we have a fuck ton of zombies just trying to run up on us Eek. like I said I think the AK comes into play right here a lot but I do get bored though it's like I mean look at that. I can't even get close to you Oh, and then back to those two uh, guys that were just walking around here with a flashlight. It's like, why not pack a pistol or a shotgun or any type of firearm to protect yourself with? Like, come on now. And that is our first look at a time splitter. To think that they have some kind of bacteria that slowly turns people into mindless zombies and mutates them? I mean, I've always wondered more about the time splitters. Like, I wonder if they have their own, like, weird spores and shit. I kinda wish they would've touched upon that later in 3, but, I mean, they're just reduced to just aliens that turn invisible and shoot explosive lightning, like, I've always wondered. Then they brought in the special forces, I mean, all hell's breaking loose inside this, inside this facility. Yeah, he wasn't gonna get far. 
I mean, look at that. They're slowly like falling apart and mutating, so it's like, I wonder if they slowly turn into time splitters. Oh, and another thing is in the zombie sections, they like to throw zombies that are on fire. It's like, I don't know why. Well, I do know why, to make it harder, but it's like, if they touch you, and if you don't have a fire extinguisher or water, then you're just, you're fucked. Because then it's like, you slowly just die. Alright, thanks zombies. And then this is where this guy over here gets- Yeah, that guy got fucked up pretty badly, but... <laughs> hey man, like I said, just let the zombies do their job and, uh... Make more work of the fucking the special f forces on the bitch. But honestly, it's like, meh. I can't really do much, and then bounce a grenade up here, wipe two of these assholes out. Like I said, you got a bunch of ammo and grenades to spend, so fuck, you might as well just use it at this point. And then, right here, it's like, you usually see a lot of uh, engagement with the zombies and the forces. I mean, you might as well just let them fight each other. Don't waste the bullets up and do it. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry for that grenade shot. That was, uh... In my head, it worked out a lot better, but... As you can see, I whiffed the fuck out of that grenade shot. That was embarrassing, but oh well. The show must go on. We have to keep going. So then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll switch to the shotgun and make use of this, because it's like you... This game, I mean, it gives you a lot of ammo, so I said, fuck it. We might as well use a shotgun for this part. On top of that, it's like, come on. You kind of at least have to switch to the shotgun. Just to blow off some of the heads of the zombies, but the shotgun is inconsistent. It's like, it... I mean, it's consistent half the time, but sometimes the shots just fucking go, you know. They don't even go out of the front of the gun, they go to the side or something. It's like, what the fuck? At least, at least not fucking miss, man. It's like, I'm using the fucking the true aim, too. Especially with these zombies, it's like, these guys are easy. And let's just get in this damn elevator and wrap up this mission for the day. Oh, lovely. It's going down. Why the fuck is it taking forever to come up, though? Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience, though. It is taking its time, huh? Well, shit, I remember there's a the fuck. Oh, shit. Jeez, what the fuck was that all about? I mean... Oh yeah, that's right. I mean, the fucking zombies. Apparently they could use the elevators too in this map. I, I, I don't know why, but I mean... I, I just do. I mean, you'd think they wouldn't be able to use the elevators, but I mean, I, I guess they're that smart enough, so... Whatever. I mean, personally, it's fucking terrible. And it just takes up time, if anything. And then here, we kind of round up our first boss, essentially. I mean, when I was younger, this boss was fucking hard as shit. But then you just realize, take care of the two, uh... The two, uh, special forges... For forges. Forces troops that just come up on left and right, and then wait for the helicopter. I mean, if you take out the missiles, this, this, this boss gets a lot easier. You just gotta hit it in the propeller, and it's kind of the front. I do take a little bit of damage, but... I mean... He's not that hard to, it's not that hard to beat, compared to other bosses where they just have bosses that, or not bosses, they have enemies that just keep spawning, like the Wild West, I fucking dread that, that mission, but we'll get through it, eventually. So then, I mean, yeah, we just pump this helicopter full of lead and watch as it, you know, tumbles into the side of the, side of the mountain. And before you know it, we're already, it's already did and done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. <laughs> no. Oh my god. What is that? I don't know. Alex, 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 grab it. Grab it. I'm not gonna grab that. You grab it. Get it down!